Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our Assistive Technology to Promote Independence series. Today, we're going to be meeting Alexa and finding out how she can help you. Our presenter today is Susan Foster. She is our FAST Assistive Technology Program Specialist. Hello, everyone, and thank you for being here. I am Susan Foster, and I am the FAST AT Program Specialist. Our mission here at CIL is to promote, educate, facilitate, assist, and advocate with those on behalf of people with disabilities in partnership with communities to achieve their goals for independence. We have five core services. We have information and referral. We have peer counseling and mentoring. We have <clears throat> individual and systems advocacy have independent living skills, and we have both adult and youth transition services. Other programs and activities that we have here at CIL are assistive technology programs, which are with FAST, Florida Alliance for Assistive Services and Technology. We have Amplified Telephone Program, which is with FTRI, which is Florida, Telecommunications Relay Incorporated. <clears throat> we have equipment loans from our loan locker, which are absolutely free, no cost to you at all. Social and recreational activities, uh, support groups, communication, education, community education and training. We have a social conversation group that meets every Thursday at noon, which is wonderful. We just get to talk about anything and everything we want. Um, try to keep politics out of it, but we have a good time. <clears throat> Our FAST mission, we've been around since 1998, helping Floridians find their independence. And our mission is to improve the quality of life for all Floridians with disabilities through advocacy, and awareness activities that increase access to and acquisition of assistive services and technology. FAST, which as I said was Florida Alliance for Assistive Services and Technology, is the state of Florida's number one resource for assistive technology. We pr provide AT services such as information and assistance, trainings, demonstrations with AT, AT device loans, and even more to Floridians from one of our locations around the state. And our locations are Pensacola, Tallahassee, <coughs> Jacksonville, Tampa, Orlando, and Miami. <clears throat> People with disabilities of all ages, from birth all the way to seniors, need assistive technology to get through their everyday lives and independently and live independently. We have the Alexa, which has many different designs and prices. And we have the Samsung, Samsung Smart Things Hub, which is on Amazon for $62. These help you in your everyday lives at home so many different ways. In 2019, smart home systems and devices are more impressive and all encompassing more than ever. Using a smart system is no longer just about asking Alexa to tell you the weather or play the new Drake song. Now you can use smart devices to grill chicken at your next family barbecue, to turn the lights off in the living room while watching a movie or vacuum your floors. 
Alexa just does almost anything that your smart devices will allow her to do. Now we have a video. We'll start in just a moment. Hi, I'm Susan Foster. I'm from FAST, the Florida Alliance for Assistive Services and Technology. We're going to talk about the Amazon Echo Plus, which is here. Today, we're going to talk about being in the kitchen. And when you're in the kitchen, how you can use Alexa to help you. I'm always being updated with new features, but you can help improve my voice recognition by completing voice training. You can also send feedback through the Alexa app to let me know how I'm doing. For more information, Go to the help section in the Alexa app. You can tell that when you say her name, she's gonna answer. It's always good that she does. We're here to talk about her today so that we can help you in the kitchen. Your appliances do need to be smart appliances so that when you want to turn the oven on, you can say, Alexa, turn the oven on. And Alexa will turn. Sorry, I couldn't find anything to do that. To get started, you'll need a smart kitchen appliance. You see. So when you say her name, you have to be real careful. If you want an answer right away, she's going to give you one. Um, and always be make sure that you say her name before you do um, a command. On Amazon, you can find the Echo Plus for $39 to $250. The ranges are different, and there are several different types of Echo. It's not just the Echo Plus. You can get the Echo Dot, and you can get the other Echoes with screens that, that are touch, and you're able to um, use those. Now, <clears throat> You'll have to go on Amazon.com to get that. I'm sure there are other places, but that's going to be your best cost is at Amazon.com. It's great for using in the kitchen when you want to find out what your measurements are. So say you're in there and you need to find out how many teaspoons are in a cup. You can say, Alexa, how many teaspoons are in a cup? Alexa, how many teaspoons are in a cup? One cup is 48 teaspoons. Okay. And how, Alexa, how many cups are in a quart? One quart is four cups. Let's say you want to cook a recipe for supper, but you just don't know what you want to cook yet. You can say, Alexa, Give me a recipe for Alexa. Give me a recipe for supper. Okay, for dinner, I recommend slow cooker ribs. What would you like? Start recipe. Send it to your phone or here next recipe. Here next recipe. Next is seared duck breast with pomegranate molasses. 55 minutes to make. Serves to. You can say, start recipe. Send to phone or next. Alexa, stop. So you can see as you go that she not only is able to start your uh, smart oven or your smart stove or the timer, you can ask her to set a timer. Um, you can also ask her for recipes and, and measurements. She also knows how to substitute <clears throat> substitute things like butter or sugar for applesauce. She'll tell you all sorts of things. She even gives you a, a joke for the day if you want to ask her for one. Um, anytime you need anything from Alexa, she's there for you, but you have to make sure that you say her name first. 
Alexa, thank you for your help today. Of course. Happy Wednesday. Okay, everyone, we've now come to our question and answer time. We do have a Q&A box that you can enter your questions into, and we will uh, get those answered for you. You can also put them in the chat box if that's more comfortable, and I can field those questions to Susan to be answered. Susan, we do have a question about Alexa and the smart home alarm system. Can Alexa be used to um, help set up the alarms, an alarm system on a home? Alexa can be used for all kinds of alarms, not just for the home. Alexa can be like waking you up in the morning. She enjoys doing that and she can give you a joke for the day or encouragement for the day. She can give you an alarm for when the stove needs to be turned off or when the oven needs to go off. She can actually turn the oven off. Um, she's got a system in her that will work with you throughout the day for setting several alarms, maybe to take your medicine for, for example, you have to take your medicine in the morning. She can remind you to take the medicine in the morning. She can remind you to take it at night. <clears throat> she's um, she's very smart and she's able to do most any of those commands. Can Alexa set other cut types of reminders? Sure. <clears throat> Alexa can remind you um, to go to the doctor. She can remind you of your grocery list. Well, it looks like we don't have any other questions. I'll just wait a moment and see if any come, come up in the chat box. But I'm going to move to our next slide. If anyone needs to get in touch with Susan, this is her contact information. Our office number is 850-595. 5560. And again, Susan is the FAST Assistive Technology Program Specialist. So any assistance that's needed for any type of technology, you would ask for Susan when you call our office. We do have other webinars available um, on this subject and other subjects if you want to check out our website at www dot c i l n w f dot org and go to the webinar series and click on that and it will list our current webinars past webinars and things that are coming up with our center i don't see any other questions susan so i guess we will go ahead and close out our presentation for today thank you so much for all of the great information that you've shared today Thank you for having me. I'm so glad we were able to do this. Thank you all for coming. Bye. Bye-bye.